fucking purpose. There's also a section of men who just feel alone, like myself, who felt like they have to hold things in and that they shouldn't share their emotions, that they don't lean on people and that they should just carry stuff in and they need to be X, Y, and Z to be like good enough. So there's this like balance of that. And you almost need to learn to, again, like I mentioned, like that, the masculine and the feminine, be able to integrate that. I feel like a real man is confident and comfortable enough to embrace the feminine energy he has in him. If he's emotional, let it out, but also have that masculine side of it. Be like, I'm going to be emotional right now, but I'm still going to go and fuck shit up right now. You know, I'm still going to take charge of what I want with my life. I'm going to work fucking hard to be disciplined, but I'm going to accept that sometime I'm I'm going to break down and it's going to be i'm not saying that women break down but there's more emotion over there and allow it to feel it and to ask for help and to lean on people and be able to balance those two and that like yin and yang i think i think that's what's missing personally right like mm. you can be going as fast as possible in the wrong direction and it actually takes you further away from the destination and this is something that a lot of people i call it the uh manopause um which is mid-20s toward late 20s a lot of guys it seems like you had yours earlier realize that a lot of the values that they hold a lot of the things that previously they took a sense of self-worth from that the world told them that they should value they don't make them feel fulfilled anymore and mm -hmm. they go oh fuck like i i got toward the top of this mountain and i realized that it was the wrong mountain that i climbed and actually i was supposed to be on that one over there mm -hmm. and it's difficult because in order to get to that one you need to go back down this one that you've already climbed you need to dispense with the stuff that you've, that you've got rid of. This is why I think introversion is such a cheat code. Because, like, I feel like... <laughs> You're less at the mercy of other people's desires. Because even, like, for me, I noticed that if I'm... The more frequently and the more for a sustained period of time I'm involved in certain just patterns of behavior, oftentimes socially or just, just what I do in general, you just become locked in those patterns and it becomes more difficult. You have more of, like, a narrow perspective. So, you know, the brain's malleable. It just gets programmed in that way and you're just kind of operating that way. So for me a lot of like the best insights that I've gotten are like times when I like completely just like fully detached and just enter this weird like meditative just like flow state of just being just so just alone. What I've learned is that most of the sabotage in your life is self-induced. Hear me out, okay? Most of the sabotage that is self-induced in life is because you do not have the self-regulation to do that which you know you need to do. So you need to be able to ask yourself, right? You know you need to go to the gym. You know you need to start this business. You know you need to read this book, but you don't do it. Why? Why don't you do it? Not, oh, I didn't do it today. No, no, why didn't you do it? Why did you cave to the nonsensical bullshit in the perspective that you're above the grind, you're above the work, you're above the consistency. Because these are the things that are holding you back. We understand that consistency compounds, I've said this once and I'll say it again, but why is it that you know what to do but you don't do it? Don't just say, oh, because I'm lazy. That, no, no, that's not good enough. Wait, no, it's not that you're lazy, something else is wrong. You need to be able to identify these things. And once you identify these things, you're able to tackle them effectively. It's because I fought for it. Because no one gave it to me. Because I, it was just me. Me alone in the gym. Me alone in the mirror. Me alone in my head. No one did it for me. I worked for it. And I'm never going to let someone else take that from me. I, it's because... Like what, what bothers you about yourself? Uh, I just wish I just felt more comfortable in my own skin a lot of times, you know? Because I feel like um, I would be able to be more effective as a person if I could just like, kind of get a... Not, toil in some of my own uh, you know if small self-worth issues or mm. like lack of confidence at times you know i wish i could trust my instincts and i wish my instincts were like better calibrated so that i knew when i was what if i was doing like okay and good stuff then my insides like told me you're, you're being okay you don't have to worry you know